Uh, 13 6 uh, here on the stick, uh, Sescott. Uh, this has been the first sow we bought uh, here at 650. Uh, purchased her from Bratton's. Uh, showed her there at the CPS, and uh, she was third overall. Uh, Chester, and pretty popular for us. Uh, and her first litter. Um, bred her to uh, boxed out, and she had uh, the fifth overall Chester at the Indiana State Fair. Um, and for you guys that kind of keep up with the Chester a little bit, uh, the Geyer Guild that was very popular last year that we, that we purchased last fall, uh, she would have been a WD-40 manpower, never lose focus. So same grandma there on the bottom side and in, in the same sire. Um, so very, very tight related. I'd call them uh, basically three-quarter sips. 11-6, we just got done talking about 11-5 and just how neat looking and bendy built that one was. Uh, this one here is the generator, the power hog, the one that uh, looks like the big ring hog just in terms of her added bone work, her added cage, her added muscularity, and you watch that thing go right away, and that wins hog shows. She's big in her upper engine, she's big in her lower engine, and yet that hog's still got uh, stability down low and her ability uh, to just plant and bend her hind leg. Uh, I think she's the right kind of uh, the right kind of build to her shoulder, uh, and yet uh, this one here, she's all you want when you get right in on her front pasture kind in terms of just uh, the versatility to make boy pigs or girl pigs but in the show ring I think this thing's got the right kind of just balance with her power to go ahead and swing big at the highest level I uh, take her to Expo take her to NJSS take her to Springfield it don't matter I think this is one of the really good ones that'll be offered this summer